most of us are interested in something different. Different always catches our attention for whatever reason. Now, the bullpup tie, bullpup design is nothing new, but it's different, and few have managed to make it work or put it into production. Now, IWI was one of the first to be really successful with their Tavor. There's just not a lot of options out there until now. Springfield just released their version of the 556 Hellion bullpup, and it looks very different, and it grabs one's attention. Only real question is, how does it perform? Let's find out and review the Hellion. Check this out. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. So this is it, the Hellion. Yeah, it looks pretty darn cool. So much so that it actually got my son interested in shooting again with me. That's a huge bonus. Let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and an up close and check out all the features that this has before we start shooting. Okay, real quick here, we're just gonna move back to front. One thing I wanna point out is the multiple quick detach points that we have. We've got one here, we've got one up here, and then we want, have one down here. Everything on this is completely, totally ambidextrous. So we've got an injection port here, it's exact same, okay, on the other side, and we can switch that out. As far as safety, exactly the same both sides and then the same with the quick detach. Another thing is the charging handle. You can just, it, it's got a lever and we can just, you don't have to do anything. You just pull it either way and pull that back to charge it. Now the stock is fully adjustable and we can even raise the cheek rest up here. I've only got one hand available here. And we can move it up just a, just, a, just a smidge, okay? Can't make huge adjustments, but it is adjustable. And then the stock, and that pops out, and we've got four different. Now disassembly is pretty easy to get the bolt carrier group out. We've got a pin here, and we can just push that down and then pull out and this back part comes off and it just slides out. Can disassemble the bolt easily and put it back in. No okay, so I have the receiver open. One thing I wanted to note is this is non-reciprocating. So with it open, to release the bolt carrier group forward, you've just got these here, this, that's the part that moves. This part doesn't move. So you just squeeze and it goes forward. Mag release, I guess you could call ambidextrous because it's right here on the back. We just pinch that. I have noticed it's pretty tight fit. The mags don't just readily fall out. Okay, and sometimes you gotta squeeze that a bit hard. Okay, once this back portion comes off, we have the trigger group in here, and that comes out. The instructions say that you can take that out and clean it as is, that you don't need to further disassemble that. Up here, and I've kind of got it blocked, okay, there's a little button here, and we can push that, and then the rear sights flip up. They're really nice iron sights. I did not use them just because my vision is getting such to the point where I can't see the front post anymore. And then you have to push that button down and the front side goes down. On both sides, 
We also have a clip here for a sling. If we want to remove the front end to get at the barrel or remove this top rail, this pin here pushes in, pulls out, and then all of this just slides off the end. You have an adjustable gas block. You can turn it with your fingers. This just pushes in and then it twists. So we've essentially got suppressed and unsuppressed. Yeah, so that got my attention. Looks cool, feels cool, it's different. Let's just see how it performs. I'm gonna start off shooting with a red dot and then I'm gonna move to this scope. So the initial shooting was done with a Holosun AMS core that I was reviewing. And you can check out that review separately for more information on the AMS. I'm in too, we've got a 30 round mag here. This is what we're gonna use. It's been working fantastic so far. Okay, so real quick, I tossed on Hollow Sun's three times magnifier. Lines up very nicely. We're going to get this zeroed at 50. We're going to bring on some 100, 200, 300. We'll see how far we can go. We can go all the way up to 500. Let's see what we can do with this Hollow Sun combination. We'll do it both with and without the magnifier. Okay, special thanks to Remington for providing the ammo for this review. This is the 50 grain jacketed hollow point. This is some fast stuff. So I've had some good luck with this. Let's see how we can do. Okay, just real quick here, sighting in at 50 yards. We are using the magnifier. We're using the Remington. Let's take a look. Pretty happy with that, guys. Okay, first shot was down here. Second shot over adjusted just a little bit. Brought down fourth shot. Um, I want to put some paper up at a hundred because I want to zero this one at a hundred, and then it will start banging some steel. Okay, just so you can see what I'm looking at here, my sight picture. So this is what I'm looking at at 100 yards with the magnifier. So after getting it zeroed and then at 50 and then coming down here to 100, I started up here and then I kind of moved. Actually, I had one, two, three, and then I moved over and I made just a couple more clicks here. I still, I think I put a couple there. I want to try a couple more and try to get it right here before we go to steel so we can really reach out at some distance. Okay, so I was getting some nice groups at 100 yards. I'm satisfied, you know, especially with a red dot and a magnifier, you know. I'm gonna fire off a couple at 200 just because I'm starting to run low on ammo and then we're gonna go 300. We'll give it a shot at 400 and hitting steel on all those and we're gonna take this off and torture test it. Let's go three. <laughs> okay, not too challenging. Let's give it a shot at four. Nice. Nice, all right. Hey guys, sorry about the wind. <laughs> you gotta love living in Nebraska. Yesterday when I was doing the initial review, it was 70 degrees. Now it is negative, negative 20 with the wind chill. So this is gonna be fast. We torture tested it, got it back on, been waiting all day for the wind to die down. Uh, did not do anything with it other than put it back on. Let's see if we can bang two, three and 400 like we did yesterday. And I don't have long before my fingers are going to freeze off. We'll start here at 200. Yeah. Let's go three. Okay, so before I run out of this Remington ammo, which is what I have this optic 
on i want to see how i can do out there at 100 200 maybe 300 standing then what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch optics i want to see what kind of accuracy we can get so then i'm going to take these off and i'm going to throw a, i can't remember if it's a one to six or a one to eight power with a bdc and some match ammo and see what we can do with that anyway let's just see what i can get here Let's go 200. So after I've seasoned the barrel a bit, I moved to the scope. Now I want to test its accuracy using some different ammo and see how it does with the different loads behind me here at 100 yards. So getting it zeroed at 100 yards using the Hornady Frontier. Yeah, we got some some decent group. It's, it, it's all kind of the same. I had a shot here, here, and then dialed it up, and I think I got here, and then I just left it where it was at. You know, I mean... It's got a long, creepy, mushy pull. You know, it's a bull pup. I, you know, if I had a match grade trigger in there, I'm sure I could shrink those groups. It's, you know, it's also, it's an awesome platform for standing, but it isn't the most conducive to benching like a more traditional rifle so we'll try some different uh, loads here see if we can shrink that down see if it spreads out we'll see if we can find what it likes best I've been shooting you know i just i like a 10 rounder i've got an amend 2 10 rounder here it's working great so far in my standing videos i was using the amend 2 30 round and just saw an awesome deal at joe bob's for 7.99 for the 30 round mags you know, so that's actually a pretty decent group using that Remington. It seems to like that a little bit better. Um, let's go the other direction. Let's try some heavier, maybe some 75 grain, some Hornady, some PPU. You know, so that's not a bad grouping with the IMI. It's not necessarily a whole lot better than the 50 grain, which is interesting. So there's the Hornady 75 green. I only had five shots left in that box, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it wasn't looking like it was maybe going to be a super good group. Okay, this is that PPU. Now, I've had very consistent luck with this over the years. You know, I got to say, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that group. Um, that's looking like one of the best groups. You know, the Remington... Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That was the 50 grain. That was the IMI. That was the Frontier 55 grain match. And the PPU. Okay, special thanks to Winchester for providing some ammo here. We've got the green tip. Let's see how this does compared to what we've got so far. All right, guys, I got to say, what I can see through the scope, um, that absolutely shocked me. I did not expect, but let's run down there and see if I'm actually seeing what I think I see. Okay, so I just finished with the Winchester, and I gotta say that, uh, not that that's, you know, an MOA group, but that's impressive. You know, considering we're using some match grade, you know, Sierra Boat King up here. Um, yeah. You know, and it's group wise. It's not necessarily tighter, although, at least from what I can see, I think that's the tightest group. But it's it's on, which means this is what I'm going to use for my steel. And the group is arguably, probably one of the best. Okay, so I've got the Hellion here. I've got my shooting assistant, Wyatt. Hello. <laughs> this is my... 14 year old son yes six four no obviously he didn't get it from me 
He thinks that this thing looks super cool. Yes, and we are excited to shoot it. So we're gonna play. We'll start off here at 100 standing. Uh, we'll go to 200, 300. We'll see what we could do. I'm not gonna lie to you why it's pretty good shot. Um, six was when he got his first deer at about 170 yards. And also at six, he was actually able to hit the steel up there at 500. Um, I'm gonna say, yeah, he got that from me. So anyway, let's have some fun and see what a 14 year old can do. All right, buddy, send it when you're ready. Try the 100 yard without the magnifier. There you go. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you got it. Send them when you're ready. Nice. Okay, we're gonna go for 300. Nice. Nice. Doing better at three. Okay, you're gonna try 400 using rear squeeze bag. Nice. Nice. So we want to see how fast I can get these on target. I'm guessing probably pretty fast. All right. Let's go for some of those small spinners. You'll be able to hear if I hit it. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Nice. Uh, let's, let's just see what we can do with this green tip here at uh, 200. See how fast we can get these off. I'm guessing pretty fast. Let's try that at three.
Wind's kind of picking up here. We're getting some gusts. I think it was blowing a few of those off. I think I'm going to stop for now and wait for that wind to die down a little bit before we reach out. I'd like to do three again with no wind and four and five. Okay, the wind died down a little bit here. Let's, uh, let's give this a go at 300 again. Okay, give her a go here at 400. Mmm, my barrel's hot. I can tell you that much, I can smell it. I'm gonna let it cool off and we're gonna try five. Okay, let's give it a go here at 500. Got no wind, so that shouldn't be a factor whatsoever here. We'll, uh... Five hundred seems to be pushing it either with the gun and or ammo. There you have it. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support my channel. Make sure and hit that subscribe button. This really helps the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.